Welcome back everyone to David Dudley Outdoors and yes today is going to be a topic talking about spawn. We're going to be talking about fish that are spawning, the times of years. Does weather play a role? Uh, does weather truly play a role in their spawn? Um, do fish spawn at the same time of the year every year? Uh, we're going to talk about God's natural order uh, that plays a huge role. So guys, at the end of this video, do me a favor. If you've enjoyed this out-of-the-box thinking of the spawn, please hit that share button. Let other people know, learn about God's creation, what goes on around the spawn. You guys got it. So let me let's let's start off on this. Okay. There's a lot of myths. There's a lot of theories that happen around the thought the spawn. Okay. So one being if the temperature is not right, they're not going to spawn. Or if the moon is not right, they're not going to spawn. There's a lot of things that we hear of during the spawn. You know, we'll be, get excited. We'll be at a tournament and we're like, man, I'm looking at the weather and it's going to be super warm the next five days. And we're thinking the whole lake is going to come up and spawn. <coughs> well, guys, it just don't happen like that. And what I want to explain to you in this video is why it doesn't happen like that. So let's start off with saying this, God's natural order. What is God's natural order? God's natural order is saying this, a dog or a deer or a human or a, it just doesn't matter. The creatures that God has created, they have a God natural order that is bestowed upon them since creation, since they were birthed. And what I mean by that is a dog is going to have, I think it's every 62 to 65 days. When it's when it's when it's pregnant, it's going to drop those puppies the majority of the time between 62 and 65. That's and if they drop them early, typically you have a not a successful rate of them surviving. A deer, there's a certain time. A woman every nine months, every nine months she's going to have to drop. She can't carry that that baby around forever. She can't just sit there and go. Yeah, you know, I like the month of May. I know I'm not due until December. Well, I'm going to have it now. No, you can't, guys. And I know I'm being sarcastic in saying that. Is that, is that saying that God has created a natural order that happens naturally. It's a cycle that can't be broken. It's a cycle that that is going to come true every single time. So the same thing happens with fish in the spawn. So here's what I want you to understand. Typically the spawning period of a fish in, and we're gonna to go to the map, right? Typically the spawning period is gonna be pretty natural, you know, pretty consistent is what I'm saying from here up. Now I'm gonna talk about Florida here in a second, but pretty consistent. So there's gonna be about a month period most of the United States, where most of the fish are going to be spawned. They, they've, over the years, they've had uh, good consistent weather. They've had, uh, you know, whatever it is, a cycle of going from winter to spring has been natural. So there's a consistency there. But I, I still want to say this, is that let's just, let's work at the month of June, okay? If that fish was born on the first week of June, guess when that fish has to drop its eggs? I mean, there's no getting around it. The first week of June next year, she's sitting there full of eggs. She's aching. She's got birthing pains. She's going to drop her eggs. Now, the weather may be super cold that week, and the weather may be like, all right, there, we're, we're going around looking for them spawning. But guys, I... I can almost assure you, have you ever seen fish just during beginning of spawn, you see them hitting, you'll see them flashing on the bottom of the lake? Well, guys, that's her time. She's got to give birth. And basically, she's doing an abortion. Basically, she's aborting her kids. Like, she wants to get up there. There's no males up there. There's no bed set. She has to dump them, and she's knocking them out. And I know that sounds bad, and I know it sounds horrible, but the point I want to make is this, is that a bass born in the first week of June, God's natural order is he is going to, he is going to, his, her cycle is the first week of June. 
guys bass born in the second week of June, guess what? That's their cycle. Third week, you get the, you get the point. Now, here's, here's one thing I want to talk to you about. A lot of people say, oh, fish come up and they spawn twice a year. You know, they're like two times and you got all these, these uh, biologists saying that they've seen them spawn twice in a year. All right, I got I to gotta dispel that too. All right, think about this. Have you ever went to the bathroom, number two, sat down, thought you were done, and then you got up, prepared yourself, got up, and just went about your day, and, and like an hour, a couple hours later, you're like, oh my gosh, round two comes up? Why did round two come up? Because you didn't get it all out the first time. Now, I'm only talking a, an hour's difference in that day. But guys, if she's carried, what, I don't know, 10,000 eggs in her, and she goes up there the, you know, the, the first week of June, and she's boom, boom, they hit all the eggs out her. She's like, whoo, oh man, that was exhausting. She goes on out and swims on out somewhere. Well, about a, four or five days later, she's like, Mm. Man, I don't man, I still got some eggs in me. So she goes back up to another nest and she's she's like, man, dude, knock these eggs out of me, because I didn't get them all out. Well, guys, it's not that and what blows my mind is is that people think that they spawn twice in one year. They the fish cannot. The fish cannot go, you know what? I want to have more eggs. I want to have more babies. So in the next week, I'm going to create eggs in my body. No, you, you, you can't do that. You can't trump God's natural order. So like the theory of fish spawning twice in a year is only simply the poo-poo theory. The poo-poo theory is saying, Hey, I didn't get it all out. I need my second round again. All right. So let, now that I got that out, let's get back to the topic at hand. God's natural order. Um, fish have got to spawn. Does weather play a role? Yeah. Does the moon play a role? Yeah. But God's role of natural order plays a bigger role. Now, let's talk about the state of Florida. All right? state of Florida is, we know, and I know y'all are enjoying my map right here. All right, state of Florida. State of Florida is a different monster. Okay, there's a spawning season that happens like really four or five months <coughs> out of the year. And this is only supporting what I have always said. So let's just say a fish was born in June in Florida, which typically their spawn is like from December to, I don't know, I think around April. I, I don't know, but they, they spawn a long time down there because I've been there in December, I've been there in January, I've been there in February, and I know they spawn in March, guys. <coughs> so I want you to understand this. Over the years, Florida is a place that has can get hit hard with uh, weather, which means big northeasterns come down there. Florida has very shallow water. It is a place that can the water temperature can go cold and it can go hot okay so what happens is this does weather play a role absolutely i won't deny that so i don't want to hear any arguments over this but what does happen is this they may be able to delay maybe a day or something you know sometimes the woman is not going to drop it on the ninth month ever the day of the ninth month every year there's a, a few few days difference they might do it a week early might do it a <coughs> a week later but very rarely the majority of the time guys the cycle clock that God has created is always going to fall true now over extended period of time over years and years and years and years these bass may have got delayed a week here a week here a week here a week there a week here a week here whatever you want to call it then they got the right weather the moon blah 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 these bass spawn so much. So if the bass down here in Florida happen to be a March spawner, do you really think that that bass and that was hatched out in March is going to be able to just go, you know what, I'm, 
I think I like the month of June, and I want my babies to be born in the month of June. No! We can't do that. So, the point is this, guys. I want you to understand that when it comes to the spawn, that there's a lot of mysteries in fishing that we can't prove or disprove, okay? The theory of me saying I see uh, fish going, let's say the water happened to be too cold, it was her time of the year, she needed to push out her eggs, and the only thing she knew to do was just bump up against stumps because the males aren't doing it, and she's just aborting her eggs everywhere. You know, that's a theory, and that's what common logic tells me, okay? But the point is this, is that I want you guys to understand this, is that when it comes to the spawn time of the year, and we're talking weather, we're talking moon, we're talking whatever, guys, don't be too dogmatic on what you think is truly happening. Don't be like, like, you're the scientist, and, and I'm not saying I'm the scientist, but don't, you know, don't overthink something that is in natural motion that God has created us. All right, guys, I hope you learned something about the spawn. Guys, I hope you learned something about what goes on during the spawn. Uh, guys, if you're new to my channel, go back and surf. I got a lot of things, and there's a second part coming. The second part is this. Guys, this video is coming out in a couple days. It is dealing with the spawn, late spring spawn, when you have some spawning, you have some garden fry, you have some heading out deep. That's in a confusing time of the year. So that video is coming back out. Guys, come go back and surf on my channel. Like, subscribe, comment. I got a lot of talks out there. I got a lot of tournament vlogs. Guys, if you're familiar with my channel, you know what I'm talking about. Guys, hit the like button. Share this video if you liked it. It is, I feel, educational to a lot of fishermen, a lot of people who have theories, and even with your children, just knowing that God's natural order, what happens. Guys, I appreciate you guys, and if you're familiar, I do an outro, and I will talk at you later. Whoop.